Assalamu alaikum everyone. I hope you are all doing well. So in this tutorial, we will gonna learn about how can you perform Fourier transformation in an image using MATLAB. Okay, so I also wrote an article on about this tutorial on my Medium account. Uh, the, so the one you uh, likes to read, you can uh, refer to this article and the source code which we will be using in our MATLAB demonstration is also uploaded on my GitHub account so you can also access the source code from my GitHub account. Don't worry I will upload uh, the details about this on my description so you can find uh, the relevant details in my description below. So let's quickly jump to our demonstration. Okay, so I have uh, wrote these loading commands in my MATLAB file. So this is how you load an image. I am using the Habib's image, UFC fighter. You can use uh, any type of image. And make sure that you save the image file and the uh, source code file in the same folder. So here what we did is we loaded an image and we named it as our original image and by using I am show function we will display it and uh, then we converted this original image into a grayscale image by using RGB 2 j function and so on and so forth. Let's just run it how it is. So here you can see this is our grayscale image and this is our original image. Right okay so before writing the next command let's have a quick review brief overview of uh, Fourier transformation so here you can see that we have a MRI image of brain and its frequency changes plot so you can see that if we change uh, if we try to move from uh, left to right we can see there are very sharp rises and sharp uh, down downfalls in the peak like here the starting point if you can see on this screen in the middle of the red line that if you start from the left you, we can see the black region okay and then if we move further uh, you can see that we have a brighter region so there is a very sharp rise the so sharp rise means brighter region and low lower peak means that it is a dark region and then then we can see very frequent changes in between so what Fourier transform does is that we can approximate our this original image uh, frequency uh, plot by getting Fourier coefficients so what is Fourier coefficients it is like this Okay, so here you can see that this is our f of x original image, original image function, and here this capital F one is the Fourier coefficients, or you can see the change in this changes in the amplitude, and this g of x function is our uh, sinusoidal function, also known as the basis function. So Fourier, uh, uh, Fourier is a mathematician. He says that if we can get those Fourier for efficiency, we can be able to manipulate our original image or we can approximate it. For example, if we want to improve a low quality image, we can get the Fourier coefficients of those images and then we can uh, make some changes into it, Fourier coefficients, and probably to somehow, to some extent, we can uh, improve its quality. Let's try to continue our coding stuff. So we have loaded this image, original and grayscale image. Now we need is the Fourier coefficients. So we for that let's make a variable capital F and we have a function in MATLAB as FFT2, which means fast Fourier transform 2 this gray image we want to convert this we want to get the uh, four, four year coefficient of this gray image okay yes. 
quickly show the figure. Clang, clang, clang. Audio transform. Okay. Okay. And that's me. I will tell you why I'm uh, writing the second parameter. Okay. So the reason I am writing this uh, square brackets in the for uh, in this image function, I am show function is that if you can see the documentation where it is here it is. I am show here. If you will use this function uh, with the second parameter, it means that it will treat the minimum value as black and the maximum value as white in this darker or a brighter region now regardless of the definite values it will treat minimum as black and maximum as white understand if we have a minimum value as uh, what do you say uh, 10 it will also treat it as uh, black or if we have a minimum value as uh, 100 it will also treat it as black and then if we uh, increase the, the these values if there is an increase in the value we will move towards the brighter the spots okay but here if we run we cannot see any details which we are which we required of the Fourier transformation so what we need to do now is use the next function which is a shift function like FFT fast forward transform shift and pass this for for coefficient and wait a minute let's print it as well okay, let's say it is center and then try to uh, run it okay now here, I don't know if you can uh, see the brighter region in the center of the screen. Let me just zoom it. Okay. 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 Much better. Now here you can see we uh, we can see the brighter region in the center of the so this image. What does that mean? see let me show you the documentation what this function does is it tries to shift the zero frequency the low frequency component to center of the spectrum you can also understand this zero frequency component as a region where there are very very small changes in the frequency for example if I take this uh, example of MRI image here you can see that there is a very very small changes between these sharp uh, rises you understand here you can see this at this gray scale there is very small gradual changes in it and these are represented uh, in the Fourier transformation as a brighter region and uh, as if we move further away from our uh, Fourier transform image we will move towards the high frequency stuff well, let's continue then you will understand it much uh, better after we execute the next command now in this particular centered Fourier transform image we can just see the brighter spot like a star okay like a star in the night I remember one of the quotations uh, stars can't shine without darkness huh. okay so now we will use the log function so that we can visualize the details much in a much better way okay so 
for that I can make my variable as log image and then use the log function and then I can use pass this our shift zero frequency components and then again at the same command for showing it and I can say this as a log four year transform image I can then pass this a log image variable okay okay now if we can run okay beautiful now here now we can see these XYZ Cartesian coordinate type system in which there is a brighter spot in the center of the image this axis also known as the DC level uh, origin what it does is that let me just uh, shrink the size okay okay here we have our grayscale image so what this does is Fourier transform in, a, in this particular uh, image it tries to give the average luminance effect or the brightest brightest effect at the overall uh, global scale of the image so you can see this region where I am pointing my mouse cursor this is a low frequency component which can be represented by this uh, brightest region so as we move further away from this brightest region we will move towards a high frequency components so this was it and why we are using log transformation for that i need to show you this plot now here you see two plots one is before trans uh, log transformation and the second is after log transformation being applied to some data and you can visualize that after log transformation on the changes of the scale of axis we can interpret the results you can see that there is a linear pattern in some kind of a data okay and we want uh, we were not able to visualize without the log transformation as you can see here we can just look at this brighter spot at the center see here we have so now we have converted our original image into log transform image what we can do is we can reconstruct now we can reconstruct our uh, we can reconstruct from law this Fourier transform to our original grayscale image okay so for that we will use IFFT shift function and pass this FSH and do you remember we use this FFT shift function to get the Fourier coefficient and this I represent that it is an inverse effect of this. Okay, we got the Fourier coefficients and like same case we will then use this inverse FFT2 function and pass this Fourier coefficients to get our original grayscale image to which we convert by to, to which we convert it into Fourier transform let's quickly make it as reconstructed image and uh, pass it as this okay okay here is our reconstruct constructed image perfect so I uh, I'm not an expert in this uh, image processing stuff I'm just making this tutorial when I learn about this concept that uh, uh, for your transformation 
I was amazed to see, uh, to learn that uh, how can this XY coordinate, Cartesian coordinate system with brighter or darker regions can uh, represent this image? I was amazed. So I, out of curiosity, I made a tutorial and thought let's share it with the online community, which can get some kind of a help. So this was from my side. Now let's end this tutorial. Uh, stay safe. And let's see you in the next tutorial. Yeah. Oh, wait a second. I would like to end this tutorial by this uh, quotation. Okay. Let me just open my mobile phone and try to get you to listen to this. Give me a second. Come on. Oh, what is happening? I want to share this with you. Okay. I'm really sorry. Now listen. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery, but today is a gift. That is why it is called the present. Okay. Bye-bye.